I am Noel Cruz. I am an architect by profession and a full-time professor in one of the universities here in Manila. I took my master's in Italy and lived there for more than eight years. The opportunity came when, during our graduation practice in college, uh, our dean announced that a university in Italy is offering scholarships for graduate studies. And when I was uh, younger, I used to dream of going to Europe and to study, take up my master's in Europe. And so when that opportunity came, I grabbed the, the chance and applied for the scholarship. And on that same year, I graduated in May 2006. Uh, October 2006, I left for Italy. Considering that uh, I only had six months after graduation, before going to Italy, uh, I had to work for six months. So while doing that, I had to process my documents and apply for the scholarship and then for the visa. What I would suggest to those aspiring to study in Italy, well, of course, maybe practical tips would be to prepare your winter clothes and then make sure to have your own laptop because you'll be needing that and then studies and uh, research about the course that you are going to take and about the culture in Italy and when it's possible it's important if you can find time to learn Italian so it will be very helpful if you know the language uh, I think there are a lot of institutions offering Italian language course like the Philippine Italian Association. So I suggest you try that before leaving for Italy. And maybe lastly, uh, prepare yourself mentally. So have that growth mindset. Be open to learning and be open to uh, different encounters that you'll have in the university. Well, at first, I found it quite difficult because I'm not used to the uh, culture of graduate studies where you have to read a lot and do a lot of research. Uh, but then I developed that, uh, that, uh, that skill. And up to now, I'm doing research. I didn't imagine myself doing it and enjoying it. And of course, aside from the studies inside the university, Aside from the lectures, of course you learn a lot from your colleagues who are from different cultures and different backgrounds and then you will also experience going to uh, places in Europe, uh, school trips around Italy and in Europe, so that will be a very enriching experience as well. Hmm. Maybe the best is the food, <laughs> the Italian food. But kidding aside, uh, I think uh, the most uh, amazing experience that I had was having friends from different countries, my colleagues in the university. And then having uh, good professors, they're very friendly and very supportive, especially to us foreign students. Well, of course, I was able to learn the language. I was able to appreciate a lot the Italian culture, the food. I was able to learn how to cook uh, a lot of Italian cuisines. Lots of videos and photos from my travels with friends, which I didn't imagine I'll be using now that I'm teaching architecture. So it's really nice to to share with your students your experiences of first-hand seeing the different architectural marvels in Europe. And lastly, after having that experience of dealing with various people of different cultures, I've learned that learning is possible even in your encounters, even outside the four walls of a classroom.